So the design with the Napa cab is is to be a little bit softer, to be a little bit mm. easier to approach uh, upon release. And the way we do that primarily is with the addition of Merlot. So the Napa cab has, in any given year, between 8 and 15 percent Merlot and about 2 percent Cabernet Franc. Whereas the estate cab, which we'll taste next, if you have data, has um, only about 2 percent Cabernet Franc and the rest is Cabernet Sauvignon. So again, designed to be a little softer, a little different target than the, than the estate cab. This is our biggest production wine. We do about twenty to 22,000 cases of this wine. Mm -hmm. So in this, you said 15% Merlot? Uh, the 2007 has about 8% Merlot. But in any given year, it's between 8 and 15. Yeah. 15 would be the high side. It's usually where we land. Um, I mentioned how 2004 is a really hot vintage. Uh, 2008 was a hot vintage as well. 2007, though, is what we consider a Goldilocks vintage. It's that one that's just <laughs> right. It's, it's not cold, it's not hot. Everything, we had just a wonderful growing season in 2007. Mm -hmm. One of those years that if you didn't make good Cabernet in 2007, you shouldn't be, shouldn't be in the business. Mm -hmm. So, 